everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Fitbit Lux. So since Fitbit Lux has no physical buttons, I think the only way that you can turn it on once you get it out of the box is to plug it into a charger. So I'm going to take the USB type A portion of the charging cable and plug it into a portable charger that I have here. And then I'm going to attach the other side being mindful of the gold charging pins and lining up those with the gold charging pins on the Lux. So like so, not like so. <laughs> and then I'm going to attach it magnetically. And I felt a little vibration and there's the Fitbit logo. So the Lux has turned on. So download the Fitbit mobile app. It looks like that's basically all it's going to tell us. So if you've never downloaded the mobile app, and even if you have, I highly recommend going to your app store, searching for Fitbit, and then, especially on iOS, go ahead and just tap here. Because sometimes, even if it says open and not update here, uh, it might say update once you get to this page. So if you've never downloaded the app before, that's not going to be an issue for you. But just in case, that is a pro tip. And it is a good idea to always make sure you have the latest version of the Fitbit app, even if you've already got a Fitbit account. So this is the first step I recommend for everybody, no matter what. So go ahead and tap this button here. I'm actually going to log out, but if you already have a Fitbit account, you can just tap this profile image in the top left hand corner. If you don't have one set, it just looks like this. So go ahead and tap on that. And then you could tap set up a device. And then up here we have Lux. And then you could tap on that and it'll try searching. And as you can see here in this account, I already have a Fitbit Sense connected. So unfortunately, I can't actually set up a Sense and a Lux on the same account. I think it would make me um, remove the Sense. So just in case that's something you have to do, just do know about that. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to log out. And then this is what you would see if you were not logged in or you don't already have a Fitbit account. So I'm actually going to create a new account for my Lux so that I can separate the data when I'm comparing across Fitbit devices for you guys in future videos. So if you don't already have an account, you'll tap join Fitbit. If you already have one, you might already be logged in or you can tap log in. I'm going to show you what it's like to join Fitbit because I'm assuming maybe you don't even have a Fitbit account. So. Uh, you can go ahead and tap on Lux here, which should be at the top if you have the most recent version of the app and it's around launch time. It may be a little farther down if you're getting this a few years after it's launched. So just so you know, you might have to scroll on this page. But for now, it's at the top, so I'll go ahead and tap on it. And it says set up, so I'll tap here. Now it says it needs a first name, a last name, email, password. And then you need to agree to Fitbit's terms of service. You can tap on these links here and scroll and read as much as you would like. There's a lot to go through. And then you can also look at the privacy policy and cookie use also. You can tap on those. And then if you want to be subscribed to the Fitbit newsletter, you can keep that checked. If you don't want to, you can always unchecked. You can always unsubscribe la later, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and that. So I'll go ahead and type in my information and you can too. All right. So once you've entered your account information and password, go ahead and tap on next. So here they're talking about privacy. You can tap here to read the privacy policy. You can read more about it, and assuming you agree, you can go ahead and tap Agree. Now it's asking for your birthday, height, weight, and sex. And just so you know, they do talk about 
For example, we use information like your height, weight, gender, and age to personalize your daily exercise and activity statistics, like the number of calories you burn and the distance you traveled. So you can also delete your personal information or your account at any time. So go. I would recommend going ahead and putting as accurate as possible data here, although you do not have to put in your exact data if you don't feel comfortable, just FYI. So go ahead and enter your info now, but I'll just show you, you can tap on these here. So you can scroll any of these. Same here, scrolling, same here. And binary choices here. And it looks like it knows what country I'm in, so it doesn't even give the option to change um, units here. So go ahead and enter your information and then tap create an account. All right, so after you've tapped create an account, we get yet another information about privacy in your Fitbit device. So you can read the privacy policy. There's some other things here. As long as you accept, go ahead and tap accept. Now it says charge your Lux. Let your device charge during setup. The pins on the charger must lock securely with the port on the back of the device. If your device is charging, you'll see the Fitbit logo or battery percentage on the screen. Well, for the first time you set it up, you're actually gonna still see download the Fitbit mobile app. So don't worry about that information being incorrect. <laughs> Um, if you're getting this from someone else after the fact, that might be the case, but all right, we'll go ahead and tap next. It says it's searching for Lux. All right, so I felt I'm actually going to take this off the charger just so you can see the screen as I go along. So I felt a little vibration. There is a four digit number on the display here. So I'll go ahead and enter that onto my phone. Now, just note that your number will most likely be different than mine, although it'd be cool if it's the same. And it looks like it is connecting to Fitbit. Ooh, and we got a little animation here. It says it's pairing. And if you've never followed one of my how to set up videos before, um, I do this all in real time just to give you the exact experience and there we have a cute little pairing complete on the device's display and it says on my phone Bluetooth pairing request Lux would like to pair with your iPhone so I'll go ahead and tap pair that is a necessary choice there it says allow Lux to display your iPhone notifications when this accessory is connected all the notifications you receive will appear on its display. So if you want notifications, go ahead and tap allow. If you'd rather not have notifications, you can tap don't allow. You can also change this in your settings on your phone later on, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap allow because I do want notifications. And here's a call to action from Fitbit to buy their protection plan. I'm not interested, so I'm gonna tap not now. And this is a typical thing for all Fitbits. There is a firmware update to start before you can use your device. It says, update your Lux. A new software version is available and may take up to 20 minutes to install. Make sure to keep Lux charging and near your phone until the update is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on update now because this may take a little while. Usually the trackers don't take quite as long as the smartwatches, but we'll see. So it says here that it is downloading and it's at 2%. And it says we're setting up your Lux. And in the meantime, again, just keep your phone and tracker close together. We do have a feedback here on the Lux's screen. We have a Fitbit logo and a progress bar. It looks like the progress bar is teal. And let me see if I can show that to you a little better. There's the progress bar. So that progress bar is gonna fill up. It's gonna turn a more brighter version of teal all the way to the right. And interestingly, it looks like it's already done downloading. So now it's just installing. So 
possible this will be the only progress bar that we'll see. But in the meantime, again, it says you can use your phone during this setup, but keep it close to your Lux. And you can also go through these uh, six items here to learn more about your Fitbit Lux as it's installing. So let's just go ahead and look at stress tracking and management. So stress management tools. Keep wellness in mind with tools on your device and in the Fitbit app. Use these tools to help you stay calm and collected. There's a stress management score. See how your body handles stress with an in-app score that tracks physical signs of stress and gives you a score ranging from 1 to 100. The higher, the better. Mindful minutes. Let your mind have a moment with mindfulness content in the Fitbit app. Track your trends as you take steps to level up your self-care routine. And relax with guided breathing for those much-needed moments of calm with on-wrist guided breathing sessions. So I'll tap back. Now I get a little check mark saying I've already looked at that. So fitness and activity. Workouts just got smarter and more convenient with active zone minutes, 24 seven heart rate tracking and more. Active zone minutes, track time spent in your personalized heart rate zones. Get your heart rate up to make every minute count. 24 seven heart rate tracking, 24 seven heart rate gives you resting heart rate trends and better estimates for calorie burn. Try using heart rate to maximize your workouts. And real-time pace and distance. Connected GPS tracks pace and distance during runs and rides. See a map of the exercise in the Fitbit app. So this does not have built-in GPS, but it can connect to your phone's GPS. And 20 exercise modes. Set a goal for a specific exercise. Your device tracks your progress and stats while you're working out. And easy exercise tracking, your device has smart track technology to automatically recognize when you worked out. Sleep tracking and score. Lux lets you see your sleep quickly and easily. All you have to do is wear it to bed and wake up to new stats. Sleep stages, view your time spent asleep in light, deep, and REM sleep from the Fitbit app. Sleep score, get to know your night with a daily sleep quality score. See all your sleep stats at a glance in the app. Sleep mode and silent alarm. Your device has a sleep mode to dim the display and mute incoming calls and text. Set a silent alarm and awake to a gentle vibration on your wrist. And smart wake. Set your Fitbit alarm to wake you with a quiet vibration during a lighter sleep stage to help you feel more refreshed. This is actually quite useful I found and quite accurate from the Fitbit Sense that I've been using where I'm a tosser and turner and in the morning I'll turn over and it'll buzz and it'll be within 30 minutes of my alarm. So it's a very useful feature and very great that they have this on Deluxe because it wasn't on the Inspire series as far as I know. It looks like our progress is moving along quite nicely. All right, health metrics. See changes in your well-being in one place. Wear your Lux to bed consistently to see the metrics below in the Fitbit app. Breathing rate. Automatically measure your breathing rate while you sleep to help you understand your wellness and learn if there are signs of significant changes. Heart rate variability or HRV. Track HRV or the variation of time between each heartbeat. A significant decrease in your HRV can help you understand if your body shows potential signs of stress, illness, or fatigue. And resting heart rate. Wear your tracker all day and night to record your resting heart rate and track heart rate over time. And do note that it says these features are not available in all markets, which means countries, and not intended for medical purposes. And it looks like we are almost done with this progress bar. Not sure if there's going to be another one or not, but we'll see. All right, let's go to notifications. Notifications at a glance. Get notifications for calls, texts, and meeting invites when your phone is nearby. Okay. And finally, stylish clock faces. Lux comes with different colorful clock faces to match your mood, lifestyle, or outfit. Check them out in the clock face gallery in your Fitbit app. All right, so. It appears to me that that, okay, there we go. 
We get a little update complete, and there's our first look at the beautiful color display of the Fitbit Lux. So here on the phone it says Lux is updated, you can continue the setup. So let's go ahead and tap continue. It says try it on, it's the moment your wrist has been waiting for. Wear your device loosely enough to slide up and down your wrist. During workouts, try wearing it higher on your wrist for a better fit. If you experience discomfort, loosen the band. And if it persists, give your wrist a break by taking it off. All right, you can go ahead and try yours on for the ability to show you everything on the screen at the same time. I'm going to keep mine on the table. So I'm going to tap next. And it says firmly double tap. Firmly tap the screen twice to wake up your Lux. While using Lux, firmly double tap the screen anytime to quickly get to the clock face. So that seems like a new shortcut for Fitbit's trackers for getting back to the clock face quickly, which is necessary because Lux doesn't have any kind of button, physical or non-physical, there's no buttons on this. So let's go ahead and try double tapping here firmly. So that did indeed bring up the clock face. And let's just see if I swipe, swipe over and I try double tapping again that did indeed go back to the clock face. So, all right, double tap works for waking and returning to the clock face. All right, so I'll go ahead and tap next. Swipe up, view your stats like steps, sleep, heart rate, and more. So I'll go ahead and double tap to wake it up and then swipe up. So wake up and then swipe up. And there's the stats, you also get your battery percentage, which was, probably over 60 when it came out of the box. You probably use some battery to download the firmware update. Then you get the day of week and date and the little stats here. So I'm not going to go through what each of these are, but I will in a different video if you want to know exactly what all these little icons are. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and tap next. Now it says swipe down, access common watch settings and modes. So I'm gonna wake up the device and I'm gonna swipe down to get back to my clock face and then swipe down again. And here are those modes. And again, I'm not gonna go over these right now, I'm just showing you that's how you access them. Okay, and now I'm gonna tap next. Now it says swipe left or right. Access apps like notification, exercise, timer, and more. To go back from any screen, swipe from left to right. All right, so let's see. I already know if I swipe to the left, I can get here, but what if I swipe here? Okay, so that's, that's kind of nice. You can get to any of the apps by swiping left or right, so that's a nice nice feature, although I think I would have rather had shortcuts be the swipe to the right like it is on the latest smartwatches, but that's okay. All right, we got tapping next. Wear and care tips. Clean your band and wrist regularly with soap-free cleanser. If your device gets wet, remove and dry completely after your activity. Your tracker may show minor wear over time. Always clean it with a soft cloth and avoid contact with hard surfaces. Take your device off from time to time. If you notice, notice skin irritation, please remove your device. See their full wear and care tips. Okay, go ahead and tap next. Now it says all set. Now get moving and make every moment count. So you can either tap to learn more about Lux or you can tap done. I'm gonna go ahead and tap done because you can always access this learn more in the app itself, it's very easy to access. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap done here. And it looks like they do have this call to action to get a trial of Fitbit Premium. So it's not 100% easy to know what is different between premium and non-premium. I personally think premium is not totally necessary but it depends on, of course, subjectively, the things that you want out of your device. 
I think you can perfectly define without premium. I'm actually going to probably take this first bin without premium uh, just to kind of show people what you do get without premium because that, that's usually a question and I'll do a separate video where I upgrade to premium but if you want to go ahead and start a free trial you can go ahead and init initiate that here you can have uh, a monthly or yearly cycle after your free trial you will have to um, add a credit card or uh, use a credit card to sign up th for the trial and then you'd have to cancel it's actually pretty easy to cancel it's not really a problem it won't uh, resubscribe you but anyway you can go ahead and do that now if you want I'm actually going to tap this X to not do this because it's not a one and done you can always start this later as long as they offer you the free trial if you've already had a premium in the past you might not be able to get that all right so here's what the Fitbit dashboard looks like if you've never had a Fitbit account before there's some little notifications here again they're talking about we're offering you fee a free trial of Fitbit premium you can tap there to get started if you want you can also check out other notifications here at the top there's also email verification required if you set up a new email and then if you scroll there is your dashboard and all of the metrics and then if you want to get to your account settings you can tap here again <laughs> and then here is where you could start premium again if you didn't do that on setup and if you want to look at your Lux settings you can tap here there are also general Fitbit settings you can access here I'll try to go over those in a separate video I'm going to tap on Lux here so how to use this is what you would have been directed to if you had tapped on learn more about Lux in that uh, at the end of the setup you basically just go through all this um, I'll be doing videos showing you pretty much everything there so hopefully you won't need to go through that <laughs> um, there are some apps it looks like so this is why you can't have a smartwatch and a Lux paired because they both share the same app gallery and I guess Fitbit doesn't have a way to share them between trackers or something but they're all just the basic apps which is kind of annoying that you can't have a smartwatch also paired if they're just all basic apps but anyway maybe yeah so you can't even add any other ones so anyway you can tap on these if you wanted to uh, I guess you can't get rid of it so never mind that <laughs> um, and then we have clock faces here so you can tap on all clocks and then these are all the options I'll probably do another video actually showing what these look like on the device itself so there's not a whole bunch of options so anyway if you want to change one you just tap on it and install I don't know that I guess I could change that one select and then it's going to start a little progress bar both on the phone and on here looks like I had a little glitch about connecting but it corrected itself and there we go update complete and now there's the new clock face it's kind of hard to see the little design there but there is a, a little color on that all right so now if we go back yeah then you can do things like turn on notifications you can add calls text messages calendar events you can also change individual app notifications by turning them on here so like whatsapp would probably show up here like if you wanted to add amazon or something <laughs> then you can do that 
can turn reminders to move on or off and change the start time, end time, or days of the week. Health and wellness reminders, you can turn these on or off. Main goal, you can change from steps to active zone minutes or th other things. And here's exercise shortcuts. If you tap on this, on the iPhone, you will get this little edit on the top screen. It says Lux is fully loaded with one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have to remove one, you can say edit. I don't like treadmill, I'm gonna tap delete. And then you can add one. So I think if you're on Android, you have to like swipe this. Oh, see it kind of works like that too on iPhone. So maybe you would say I don't run. So I'll swipe that one and then I can delete that. So that's how it works on Android, I believe. And then we can add exercise shortcut. Looks like these are the options we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and add hike. And then you can also rearrange them. So on iPhone you tap edit and maybe I'll put hike here. And I'll say done. So that's kind of how you customize your exercise shortcuts. So those are kind of the basic first things that I would customize if I've never had a Fitbit before. Otherwise, the other thing to know is syncing. You can either, starting from your dashboard, you can pull down here and release. When it says it's syncing your Lux, you do have to have your phone's Bluetooth on in order to communicate with the Lux. And now it says sync is complete. The other way, if that doesn't work for some reason, is you can tap on your profile picture, tap on Lux, and scroll down to sync now. And then it'll also give you a little progress bar there. And yeah, another tip, pro tip, as you can see when it last synced, it says sync today at 5.56 p.m. It is 5.56 p.m. Might also be helpful to know what your version number is for future firmware updates and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good introduction to how to set up your Fitbit Lux. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Lux how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.